How are we doing YouTube? As promised, I said I'd do a little review on the Thrustmaster T300 Lamborghini mod fascia that I got recently from eBay. Uh, this is just the fascia plate that goes on to the Thrustmaster T300 RS wheel uh, hub system, which, I mean, if you're familiar with Thrustmaster, you'll know it comes with like this hub. Uh, originally with a round leather backed wheel on a sort of steel frame, uh, three spoke wheel, uh, which you can see on the Thrustmaster website and a lot of people have uploaded videos on that itself. Uh, I've had this for two, well, just over two weeks now. And you obviously see a video that I did recently where I'm, I'm just testing it and driving it as it is live on a game that I was playing against the AI on uh, a set of Corsa, which is what I'm currently mostly playing nowadays. I'm not going to go into Gran Turismo 7, it will we'll be here forever, me ranting about how I'm disappointed in that game. But, regarding this wheel, it's uh, not bad, it was £90 from eBay, I got it in the time frame, actually earlier than what they promised, they were going to say about three to four weeks, and I got it within a sort of two week frame of ordering, I think it comes from Hong Kong, and the eBay server that I used was pretty reliable, had good reviews, uh, I can't really give any negative on that basically i had a very good positive experience the only downside is with anything like that you can't predict when the delivery will be in uh, i was lucky to be at home at the time when it arrived so i don't know what it'd be like for someone who ordered it and it turned up when they're not in the property um <clears throat> you know typically your neighbor signs for it or someone else signs for it or whatever if it's um raw mail it goes to a depot and you can collect, take a collecting card and pick it up at a uh, etc another day so I don't know if anyone's had that same experience with this wheel where they've uh, not received it and had issues with um, getting it but in terms of the actual wheel you can see this is basically a composite material uh, 3d printed it's not steel so it's obviously not going to be as firm it's actually quite thick compared to the original what the original Frostmaster wheel comes on the three spoke stem it's actually steel made and it's thinner because obviously it will be more robust and with that on the original uh, Thrustmaster wheel you get these three sections on this on the stems where the there's basically uh, screwed in uh, sections behind where these three screws are screwing in place behind this to hold it firmly to the the, uh, the hub itself uh, as well as these uh, six allen key stud bolts and the thing with these allen key stud bolts is three are long three are short uh, i don't know why i designed them like that, that way so this one particularly here i know for sure this is a short one and i did follow and i remember putting them in the right order i'm pretty sure but because the thickness of this uh composite it kind of a little bit in sections it will sit proud and therefore this one stud which is the short one can't it won't grip and it doesn't I don't think it'll make any difference which way around I put them there's always going to be one issue where one of them might not be actually gripping to anything because the thickness of this is too thick so it's not letting it get in and screw onto the, the hub behind so there's that issue there but generally it's pretty solid um you can see in my previous video there I was racing what almost 20 minutes race maybe 50 minutes yeah, about 20 minute race uh, and I'm you know, typically it's on a it's not the highest setting feedback, but it was re robust enough to to last on that race, and I've had it for two weeks and it hasn't come off, so it's been okay. So I I'm, I can't complain. I just say that it depends on the type of driver you are. If you're a bit aggressive or very um, you, you put your feedback up and you're quite firm with, with the turning and pulling, you might find. Or if you lose your your, your rag and you slam the wheel or whatever go into full Senna mode Schumacher mode and I don't know all the other ranty drivers out there maybe game muscle mode if you lose it uh, definitely a key 25 if you lose it and smash your equipment up then yeah they're probably going to uh, damage your wheel because this is not the best uh, best uh, fixed fix device I think you just got to be careful on that and that, that's really down to the Thrustmaster hub and the way it was designed. And I, I, 
I don't know why the people who designed this mod didn't think of that, but it's kind of a plastic. It's much more harder to make those sort of grooves for the bolts to be exactly precise. So costing-wise, I suppose they probably didn't want to get involved with that and just said, right, to hell with you, and you, uh, it's your own problem. I could have glued it in, but because I want to keep the hub usable for putting it back with the original rim, if I decide to upgrade and change the wheel, uh, maybe I sell out and go Fanatec, um, or maybe I get the new Thrustmaster Super Duper Invisible, who knows, Fairy Dust DD wheel that's coming out, allegedly, but allegedly from Thrustmaster, I don't know when that will come out, when Hell Freeze is over, but hopefully, if I do go for an upgrade, I've still got this uh, original wheel that I can stick back on and flog it, uh, hopefully for the same price I bought it, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's optimistic of me, but uh, yeah, I didn't want to glue it in to the, the actual hub thing because I want to be able to to reuse the wheel and, and plus this itself wouldn't then be able to be sold on separately so I there is obviously financial sense in being able to put, take everything apart and keep it. My opinion on this is that the Frostmas T300 original wheel layout and button design isn't the best when you're doing things like GT racing and thingy. I like the paddle here. These paddles are lovely. I, I've, I've they're long enough for you to reach. Um, long things are always better than short things, they always say. So you've got that. But also, uh, I just think it's because it's aerodynamically more better designed. Um, but the downside is the layout buttons for this, I, I just don't think it's as good for something like this eSport competitive. It's just, look at that. I mean, it's freaking about with trying to be very specific with buttons there. Um, you really got to gotta maybe not even have gloves with full fingers, maybe half finger gloves, because that is messing about. Uh, it's not easy to do. Uh, it's, I've had better wheels. My Ferrari Thrustmaster one is definitely much more better than this, but I just wanted the Lamborghini one because I'm being, you know, special. Uh, it's all for that aesthetic. I mean, look at the badge. I mean, come on, I mean, it's the badge. Look, it's the Lamborghini badge, man. But no, it, it feels good. So I, I like the feel of this. It, it's decent. and I, I, I can't moan on that side of it, but obviously I'm nitpicking on certain things. That that would have been with any of the Thrustmaster, this particular T300 RS wheel ba hub base system because they've got the buttons way too, too sort of close to each other. I just didn't... It could have been better. It could have been better laid out. And I think they made it sort of, sort of a, a basic beginner kind of friendly design. But uh, other than that, it's not bad. Uh, this suede mock Alcantara for the value, yeah, it could have been better. But then you're paying a lot more money. This is the original Sparco wheel, the proper. I mean, this is a proper Alcantara. You can see color shading difference compared to the two. Um, but yeah, over time they will wear. So definitely recommend wearing the bloody gloves. Um, just get ones that fit you. Or maybe the fingerless ones, which I have as well. So I'll try it out and see if that is a better experience than these things here. Certainly not the most practical, but just doing it to protect the longevity of this material. Um, two weeks in, I, I, I'm happy with it. I, I don't think it's the best of the best, but certainly if you're a Lamborghini fan, uh, you might find that this... Is it going to be appealing to you? Or it's very similar to the Audi. I can't complain. I mean, the Audi and Lamborghini do have similar wheels on some of their, their models of the of the GT3 cars. So yes, there is a quite a nice, aesthetically pleasing experience to have and race with. So any more questions you guys can leave in the comments. Um, I did get this from, again from eBay. Uh, I think it's Hong Kong seller. Pretty decent reviews on them. I'm not saying go to them only. You, you've you got loads of options wherever you are in the world. Um, but the particular one I use, I will put the link uh, in the description when I get a moment. Any questions you can always ask me in comments. And I hope to do some more content soon. I actually am almost getting to the point where I've completed my requirements on the game to get on to online racing. I just need a few more safety rating. Been a bit busy, so that will come within time. And I do have plans to do a review on my TLC and pills there, which I will go into. But there are there are plenty of channels I've done that already if you want to check them out. 
Thank you to anyone subscribed to my channel that is revisiting the content on here. If you're new to this channel, I really do appreciate it. If you want to subscribe, uh, please do look out for new content that's coming up soon, hopefully. And if you like this video and if you thought it was conformative, uh, just tip that thumbs up. It really will help me. Thank you very much. Have a good day, guys.